Hello, Ruth Squire, Zarius Luxury Group, White Glove Service, Red Carpet Treatment. It's all in the name, we are not the same. This is week seven, tip number seven of my For Sale by Owner series. And this week I wanna talk about contract to closing. So what happens once you have a buyer make an offer? What are the steps now to get you to a successful closing? So we have contract in hand, we've negotiated the terms, and everything's been signed. Uh, now you want to follow the timelines very closely. So the first thing you're watching for is the escrow deposit to be made. So the contract will define how many days the buyer has to make the deposit with the title company. At this point, you've selected a title company that you want to work with and you've given them the contract so they're ready to go. So title company will let you know when the deposit has been made. I have a checklist that I work off of to make sure I don't miss any timelines on my um, transactions and so that would be best practice is create a checklist for all the different um, uh, pieces and terms to your contract. If there's financing there's going to be financing terms for when they have loan approval, how, how soon they make their loan application, um, watching for loan commitment, things like that as you go through the process. Um, the other item would be being prepared for the things that, you, that may come up for you to handle as the seller. So there will be an inspection period. The buyer will be scheduling inspections that they want to have done on the house. And there may be some things that come up during those inspections um, that you were not aware of that uh, the buyer wants you to take care of. So have a handyman ready to go. Have um, some uh, quick references for plumbers, electricians, roofers, things like that. People that you would call should there be something that comes up on the contract. And if you need any uh, referrals to any of those um, types of trades, please don't hesitate to call me. I have a lot of great business vendors that I work with that are trustworthy and um, do a great job. So I'm happy to share those people with you if you need uh, those services. So uh, beyond that, then you get through the inspection period. Title will give you the title commitment, um, which lets you know that they've uh, taking care of all of the title work and they are able to issue an insurance policy on the home and uh, and then you really are just mon monitoring um, the timelines until you get to closing so inspection period is probably the roughest part then um, there may or may not be an appraisal depending on again the terms of the contract um, get past those things and you should be cruising ahead to closing where you can um, crack open a bottle of champagne and celebrate. So um, most important takeaways on this one would be make sure you have a good title company that uh, you're prepared to work with and then be ready to create a checklist to make sure you follow through everything that needs to happen during your contract. So I hope this was helpful information and if there's anything at all I can do for you please give me a call 352-476- three three zero three. Have a great week.